morning guys so I am on my way to Selfridges at the moment not Selfridges sorry New Bond Street um, I'm gonna meet up with my friend Kyle over there sorry I'm trying to dodge kids so I've just left my place um, I'm heading towards New Bond Street because I'm meeting Kyle and we plan to do some shopping so I thought I would bring you guys along with us because it's gonna be a fun day. I think we're seeing Charlotte Fendi and then we're going to Chanel and Selfridges. Oh and Zara. There's a coat I want from Zara. I also need to um, drop these off at Balenciaga because the bee fell off the other day so it's annoying. Guys I'm in love with this bag. They have it in pink, navy, black, and the red. I love this one. Hi. He's wrapping up my bag. I decided on which one. I also didn't know that you can only buy bags once every couple months. I was like, I thought it was just once a month. It's once every couple months, guys. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm trying on different baguette bags. This strap is cute. Oh my god, this is actually kind of cute. This mm. is so cool. The denim one. Yeah. 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 It's, it's nice. I think because it's because it's quite oversized. It looks nice yeah. on the back as well. I think the thing is, I think the pattern here is too much on the bigger bag right. for me, and I like the smaller. Yes. This. Well, yeah. Where is it? The black. Oh. Oh, he has it. <laughs> oh. Like this size. <laughs> right. But I don't like it in black. Just had a look at all the baguettes on the table there, but can't take any home. <laughs> I know, I have to wait. It doesn't come out till like the 14th, right? The 14th. Yes. Look how stunning this is. So pretty. Here's a comparison. This is a Chanel gold and Fendi gold. It's a little more yellow. Like yeah. Yellowy. Just put a deposit down for this one. I decided to go with the orange. Don't know why. I just liked it more than the red. <laughs> I actually like it more than the red. Right? I don't know. It's just such an interesting color. It looks like it's like a neon, but Not also yeah, it's like brand. it's like a neon pastel yeah. tangerine color. <laughs> it's not coming out true to color. Oh well. The strap is so cool. Nice. So we're just in Dior home right now. Kyle pre-ordered a shirt, so we're hoping it's in. Do you think it's in? Lucy, I Kyle pre-ordered the shirt in November, so we're like waiting for this shirt for ages. So I hope they have it. And look, look how cute. So this is Kyle's, he already opened his, so I'm gonna show you his. But we got these really pretty red envelopes from Fendi. So stunning. Kyle, how happy are you? I'm so happy. Do you feel a bit slutty like, though? You I mean know. like <laughs> cover no, up. Actually, God. Yeah, like, like, this is so neck. cool. I know. Yay, I'm happy you got it. Yeah, three months. Waited three it's months really for nice. this shirt. I know. It's really nice. <laughs> they have it in long sleeves and in, in navy blue as Did well. You check the price? Yeah. But like they don't have it in any other colors, damn. If it was white. Kyle is happy, he got his shirt. Anyways, we're walking towards Selfridges. I have to do some like exchanges and stuff and get my boots fixed from Balenciaga. <sighs> it's freaking my hat. cold here. It is so cold today, yeah. Anyways, and then afterwards, we're gonna head to Zara to do some affordable shopping. <laughs> this is the coat I came to check out and I absolutely love it. But I think, um, this is a size medium, I think, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for a large, because I want it to be like really oh, oversized. Yeah. The color is so cute though. 
Hey guys, so today is the 5th of February, so it's the first day of the Lunar New Year and um, I'm just about to hop out to have lunch with a friend or with Kyle actually. I did start a vlog with Kyle and I shopping the other day but it's not quite long enough for like a vlog so I thought I would combine it, um, share what we get up to today. I don't know what we're doing today besides lunch and walking around Comic Garden I guess. And then hopefully um, I can share a bit more of my flat today because um, some of my storage things came in so I was able to put things into storage so things are looking much neater. I had my Christmas stuff out on this counter for so 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 long. Um, well since Christmas <laughs> because I had nowhere to put it and I've been putting off like sorting out my storage room. Anyways finally getting into that so got that sorted last night so it's looking much better. So I'm wearing this dress that I found at like a vintage shop. It's just got really beautiful um, red and gold threads going through it and these beautiful gold buckles or buttons, sorry. I thought it was really pretty. It is oversized. It's huge on me, but I didn't mind that. I love things oversized on me anyway. And then I have my, um, here, got some Gucci socks on. I'm also learning on my Saint Laurent um, leather jacket because it's cold out and then for shoes and then for shoes I'm just going with my new Chanel booties I love them and then for my bag I'm using my new bag I got the other day so that's the look guys very red and gold the lucky colors of the new year Anyways, um, we're gonna try and hit up Ding Tai Fung. It is a, a chain restaurant that just opened in London, and well, they just opened one of one of the chains in London, basically. And yeah, it's supposed to be amazing Taiwanese food. I'm pumped. The only downside is since they just opened not too long ago, like a month ago, the lines have been crazy. Like it's been. The last time I was there, we were put in an hour and 45 minute wait, and we're just like, no, we're just gonna find somewhere else to eat. So hopefully we have more luck today. Anyways, I'm also gonna throw on like another coat over it because it's just too cold outside, but that's just like my everyday, uh, my Burberry Prossum coat that I wear every single time I leave the house, pretty much. Hey Kyle, Hi. we're at Ding Tai Fong. Finally, we got a table. I mean, it doesn't look so busy, but we definitely still had to wait. Anyway, we have our starters. It's my favorite um, marinated cucumbers and garlic and chili. What is that? It's a crispy palm, like, like pancake. Yeah. Yum. And then I've got my um, noodles with beans. And, I don't know, but it's called a sa -chang. It's called sa -chang mian. Sa -chang mian, yeah. yeah, I don't know what it is in English. And Kyle brought us some oranges. Yeah. How cute. <laughs> I was like, why do I see anything? <laughs> Our shalom bows came, yum. My favorite ones are obviously the original pork ones. Do you want to taste test it? By the way, we, we tried the cucumbers. That's my favorite appetizer. Holy crap, it's so freaking good. I'm obsessed. Although, there's not a lot. They did not give us a lot. For five pounds, I feel like we need more cucumber than that. All right, let's see. All this not too hot. Okay. <laughs> Is it good? On a one to ten. Eight. Eight? Okay, I guess I have to try it now. That's good. It's really good. The Dajang Min is pretty good as well. Kyle's food came. Yes. It looks so delicious. It's, it's like hot. pork chop on top fried of rice. fried rice. Egg fried rice. <laughs> Yum. <It looks> so <laughs> Guys, they have che here. Funnily enough, I only know how to say this in Vietnamese. I don't know it in the Chinese. Um, I don't know the term for it in Chinese. I only know it in Vietnamese. In Vietnam, this is called che. Yeah. Do you know how to say it in Chinese? <laughs> I don't know. But it, or mango. Yeah, this is mango pudding, basically. What's yours? It's like jelly glass. Yeah. Jelly and <laughs> Glass jelly. Glass jelly. Yum. I'm so pumped for this. If this is any as good as my favorite place in Hanoi that sells these, oh, so I'm gonna come back so often just to get this. 
you're gonna wait for like no because in Vietnam there's like a stall that specializes in selling this Special. and so me and my friend we would go there and order like we would go there and buy like six two each basically and then go back and eat it yeah so good this is so good too like this Cal and I stopped at Dover Street to grab a quick drink of coffee because it's bloody cold outside. It's super cold. I don't know if you can tell. Super cold. If it's snow here, it's gonna be. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Look at Cal just gave me um, red and blue. Oh yeah, we. Oh my god, this is cute. <laughs> we just exchanged red envelopes. Yeah. Obviously we didn't put like money in every single one. <laughs> we just, just like, you know, we're just <laughs> giving each other a couple extras, but cute. And I love I love how they put a little pig cookie there. Yum. He's prepping for a, a good shot. He's really good at flat laying. I'm not. <laughs> So who's gonna translate this? You have to translate it. Oh, we can take a photo and then yeah. like let Google translate it. Oh wait, there's two characters. That's so cool. So this is a late envelope from Dior that you can scratch underneath. That's so cool. So what does that say? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm gonna translate it. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> English. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Carla's still trying to figure out how to translate this. We're trying to take a picture, but it's not working. No. No, it's just like land on place. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could help you there, buddy. <laughs> Morning, guys. So today I woke up with an extremely sore throat. I started coughing loads last night and just in general not feeling very well. And then I realized that I hadn't gone sick this winter time yet. And generally I always get sick at least once over this time, like around November, December. Um, I mean, I have felt ill, but like not like full on like a cold and like sore throat, etc. I'm like sweating. I'm not even wearing that many layers. <clears throat> so I'm about to head out to have lunch with a friend of mine, Rebecca. Oh, now I need a sneeze. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, that didn't feel good. <sighs> My throat hurts. So because I felt like crap yesterday, I washed my hair at nighttime and just kind of decongested myself and then slept with pads in my hair because I couldn't be bothered dealing with wet hair last night. But I also knew it would give me some texture in the morning, so that's nice. This won't last very long though. Anyways, so I've just spent the morning getting ready. I am pretty wrapped up. I have a bit of time left. Um, <clears throat> I had a bit of time left, so I cleaned up uh, the living room and kitchen area. I'm actually gonna do a quick like um, update on the living room slash kitchen, just because um, I promised that ages ago and I haven't done it yet. Um, the bedrooms, oh God, it's still not done yet. Can you believe it? I will share what I've done so far um, throughout this video, but <clears throat> it's not gonna be done. It's just not gonna be finished. I'm never gonna be finished with this place. And then I'm gonna move. And then, yeah, it's a cycle. You're never really done with a place, huh? It's also because, like, I think when I first moved in, I was super excited. I bought everything for this flat, and I was, like, really, like, trying to make it feel like home. And then, <clears throat> throughout the process, I was traveling a lot, going in and out, and just kind of never finishing the move properly. So I don't think um, I ever... So yeah, I just left a couple of unfinished things. And then it's gone to a point where it's like, well... The year is almost up now, <laughs> and I, I don't plan on staying here for a long time. This is just temporary, so it's kind of like, well, do I want to like now spend the money to like continue this, or do I just like leave it for now? I don't know. 
excuse the disgusting lighting so it's not completely clean but it's clean enough and it's like realistic honestly this is just as realistic as it gets when i say my fly is clean this is what i mean this is clean to me um there's still a couple things around but <clears throat> So here's the living room. I don't think very much has changed. I definitely have changed some things up on here. Um, this gets changed quite often. I'm pretty sure I moved that from the guest bedroom out here. I really like this poster. It just says, who runs the world? And a bunch of badass women. Um, I got this over Christmas time. I love this. This is like, um, whatchamacallit? So I've also moved that. This used to live here, um, but I moved it over there and I made, it made it feel like there's a lot more space here. Um, so I have my little um, love chair, which I have these pillows on, which don't really go, but I don't know where to put them. I think they're so, so, so pretty. Um, they look like they're for a nursery, which I don't have one of those. So they're just going to live out here for now until there's a better spot to put them. And then over here... I moved my blanket basket from here to in there. I hate it. I need to change out all the blankets into something that matches this room. But again, it goes back to me thinking like, well, I'm not going to be he in here for much longer. So I don't know if I want to replace all the blankets now because I don't know what the future flat will look like. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's just going to stay like that. And then have my elephants. And then this plant has grown a lot since... I last showed it um yeah it's grown a lot got some games and some dvds so this is what i mean like it's a mess but it's my mess i piled everything up here um it's just stuff that i'm working on and then just some knickknacks on the table um crystals and candles really and then i just want to mention this is not a real gun i think i might have snapped this it's um it's just a ceramic gun that I got at Selfridges. I absolutely love it. And this is a really cool car book. And then my sofa is pretty much the same. Got a little black and white original Mickey Mouse there. And then Chanel pillow, some TK Maxx pillows. And these are three pillows I brought back from Vietnam. And then, and then here is the dining slash kitchen. So... I still haven't gotten around to paint this yet. I don't know if I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I did, that I considered painting this because I don't like how the woods don't match, but I like the length of this bench, which was really hard to find anyway. Um, yeah, I was thinking of painting this, but I've just been lazy and haven't really gotten, it's a big project. Also like kind of terrifying project because I use this table every single day. So I've never been like, you know what, today I'm not gonna use a table, I'm gonna work on this project just nervous i don't want to ruin this table and i'm just putting it off because yeah and then i have my um little display here this is just some this is a i don't know would you call this a flowery i guess like some sort of plant <laughs> from mns and um i just hung these that we got at cartier all over it and I just have it in a really gorgeous uh, water jug. I'm going to have to clean this out. The water looks gross, but it has a little star in there. This is from Dior. I bought it last year um, when I had a Chinese dinner at mine. I put the water in there and had it on the table. I thought it was like very in tune with the whole luck thing. I kept this over from Christmas. This was my Christmas decoration, but I really liked it, especially because I could put candy in there. So I have a bunch of C's lollipops. And these don't belong here, but I still have them out because Chinese New Year lasts two weeks, so friends that I see in the next week and a half now, um, I'm still giving some red envelopes out. So I just actually packed one for my friend I'm seeing in a sec. So I just have those there. Quickly go through them because I know some of you guys might be interested. Um, I've been collecting red envelopes since I was like, since I can actually remember. So like since day one, I have my collection in Vietnam though. So that's why I get super excited over these. On Instagram, I talk about them so much and I don't know, people might think I'm so weird. These are just literally red envelopes, but there's something about them. I just find so pretty and fun to collect. Um, so I got two Dior ones. These are both from Kyle. I think his essay gave him some, so he gave me some. Um, this is a Toya Birch one that my friend that works at Toya Birch gave to me. This is a Loewe one. The Loewe ones, oh, actually, I should show you what they look like, damn. Because, like, this is what they look like, right? So I didn't, and then the, the envelopes look like this. The Toya Birch ones. 
So this is what the Tory Burch ones look like. So cute. The Loewe ones, this box is magnetic, which I think is super fancy. So we got these um, when Kyle went and bought his basket bag. I bought one too. And we were gifted these red envelopes. They're like this beautiful cutout. I do prefer when they put some sort of like pig design or whatever animal it is that year. I just like that. Um, this one's stunning, however. So pretty. This is a Fendi one. Um, I think this is the first year I got a Fendi one, to be honest. Um, it's super, super pretty. The other day when I went into Fendi to pre-order something, um, my sales associate there, Cheryl, she was so lovely and gifted us each a box. And then I have the Gucci one as well. This was super random because I haven't bought from Gucci in so, so, so long. But um, I absolutely loved this uh, red envelope. And funny enough, we were at Dover Street Market and I bumped into um, an essay there. Um, her name is Tess. She's so sweet and she used to work at the Stone Square one and I used to go to her all the time. Anyway, she transferred and moved to Dover Street one and I had no idea so we bumped into each other and then she ran off and grabbed one of these boxes for me. How cute. I didn't think I'd get the Gucci one this year, actually. Um, so this is a magnet. And then those are the red envelopes. And then last but not least, the Cartier one that um, we got at the Cartier Chinese dinner, Chinese New Year dinner event. And underneath is where I had um, all of the flower cutouts. And then I bought some random pig ones because I thought they were really cute. <laughs> This plan is looking a little sad right now. Don't worry, it sometimes goes down and then like it pops back up. It's just like it has a mind of its own. I think it depends on weather. Um, don't worry, it is watered. I watered it literally yesterday. I don't know if any of you would notice, but there is a big plant missing there. And the plant is actually right here for now. Um, let me just turn the lights on. So I just moved the plant here for now. Although I felt like it was getting enough light from that window, I don't know, it was looking a little sad. So I moved it over here to see if it will be any better. This plant, however, is looking the most depressed out of all the plants. Look at that. I don't, I don't know what happened. Only this one survived. So I moved it right by the window to see if the light helps that plant, but that plant is looking super sad. Anyway, nothing has changed in the kitchen right now. The only things I have on display are my two Jonathan Adler pieces um, and then a random orange that my friend gave me. This plant is growing super well. I love her so much. It's grown so long. I'm so excited. I hope it continues to grow. And then my dishes. I still keep all my dishes out. It's just easiest for me to grab and for my friends. Is, Bunch of friends always come over and everything's just out and they can take whatever they need. There are my little soy sauce coasters. I just realized that I have the little piggy ones. <laughs> they look like the Gucci red envelopes. Well, obviously they, they're from like some sort of Disney, I believe, character. I don't know the three pigs though. Ugh, people are gonna hate me. I know Pinocchio, I know Bambi, I know Dumbo, Obvious. I just don't remember their name. <laughs> The only other thing in this kitchen is my bar table, which I have changed a tiny bit, not too much. This plant also is looking a bit dead. The leaves look perfect. It's just the flowers. This one's fine, but you can tell that one's dying. That one's dead. Um, my friend was telling me to remember that it might have might just be weather change. Like during this time of year, they kind of die out. And then later on when it warms up, the flowers will go back out. So I'm really hoping that that's it. Um, it still looks like it's pretty healthy. It's just the flowers, so we'll see. Um, I think the only things I added here are these coasters from um, a market that I went to in Milan. They look like Fornaceti. They probably are Fornaceti, but maybe like the rejects or like maybe they're fake. I don't know. Um, I just saw them at a market in Milan and they were selling them separately i think 15 each i can't remember but they were so 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 pretty so i had to pick some up um same with this one at the back this massive cat one and then i have a couple of these las vegas chip kind of coasters i got from las vegas and i thought they <laughs> looked good on here and i think those are the only few things i've added the rest are pretty much the same 
Okay, so that's a quick update on the living and kitchen area. I'll do the bedrooms when I get back because I have to run out now or else I'm going to be late. I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day. Um, I am wearing this gorgeous Celine dress. I've definitely hauled this before. I have to put you guys down again. So yeah, I was talking about the coat. Um, I absolutely love this coat. I know that Louis Vuitton comes out with the same exact coat, just in different colors, um, depends on season and stuff. I've seen this in this gorgeous blue color. But when I got it, I got it in this really nice, like, salmon pink color, millennial pink color, I guess. Which, to be honest, I think most people are, like, over the millennial pink and stuff. We're on to lilac now. I've always, by the way, loved purple. Lilac has been my favorite color, so I'm so, so down with lilac being, like, the new it color. Um, but I still really like this color anyway, and yeah, it's a really, really gorgeous coat. And then I'm also wearing one of my favorite Louis Vuitton scarves. It's from that, like, I think it's from that Japan collection, totally forgot the name of it. And as far as shoes go, I am wearing my Celine boots, which I love. And then the bag that I'm using today is my Fendi bag, which I don't know the name of. And that's my outfit. Ooh, I almost forgot the red envelope. Okay, I'm gonna get myself situated and I'll catch up with you guys in a second.